The $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill inching closer to a vote, but it's coming after what you could call an unusual sight in the Senate. Meantime, more vaccinations leading to fewer business restrictions across the country. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron reports from Washington, D.C. Section 2, Table of Contents. While most of the country slept, Senate clerks were at work reciting every word of the 628-page COVID relief bill backed by President Biden. For A23 and other related activities. The entire process took nearly 11 hours. Wisconsin Republican Ron Johnson requested the reading. All I'm trying to do is make this a more deliberative process. You know, obviously shine the light on this abusive and obscene amount of money. We Democrats want America to hear what's in the plan. The bill advanced to the debate stage Thursday without the support of a single GOP senator. Vice President Kamala Harris cast the deciding vote. And the motion to proceed is agreed to. Forcing the bill to be read aloud could delay the final vote until this weekend. Meanwhile, many businesses are waking up to fewer and fewer pandemic-related restrictions. And that's thanks in part to ramped up vaccine distribution. The CDC says over 54 million Americans have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. COVID has not suddenly disappeared. Even though we issue this executive order, doesn't mean COVID is gone. What it means is that we no longer need government running your lives. More states are following Texas's lead in easing pandemic restrictions as case totals drop. 16 will have no mask requirement by next week. Public health experts have urged caution, though, saying more contagious new variants could result in another surge. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.